Stick by them till I'm in the ground Alright, look at that We have our temporary shelter All in place The thermostat set And we'll be able to get uh, Get the footings put in fairly easy, so it looks good. Uh, we're gonna set the temperature up to like 70 in here. That's why we put a little bit of uh, insulation board on uh, the ceiling just to help keep the heat in here. Hopefully we only have to heat this for a day or two to get these footings in the ground. There we go. Thermostat, the air. Looks pretty good. Come to realize time goes by on its own. I am stuck here without a a good day got a little bit done so we start to lose our light and our natural sauna here uh, yeah, you're not gonna be able to see that the abyss of the black hole uh, well, one footing is dug in we're opened up on the other two as you can see our daylight is fading okay we're gonna wrap up the poly make sure it doesn't blow away tonight I think that's about it. I'll hit it tomorrow. Looking at some designs here, though, we could call this a sauna. It's definitely a sauna. And then looking at you, Judd. Judd, yeah, our sauna's already done. <laughs> All right, hooray! Morning, day number two. Still running a propane. It's a good thing. One thing we have to worry about, and it's not too bad. There's a little bit of ice on there. Woke up this morning to. Uh, nine below it's up to zero right now so it's not bad at all um, furnace is still running it's a hundred and seventy thousand BTU furnace heating our little uh, sauna here pops out a little bit but I think we're in good shape we're gonna get in there and get the rest of the footings installed on a beautiful beautiful morning oh look at the pavilion looking nice the fireplace and our sauna for the day. All right, let's get in there.
timing for the heater to kick in. Well, I've got two of the footing boxes with the paper tubes all the way in, 48 inches deep. We'll go over more of that later. Uh, working by the artificial sun tonight. Um, looks like we're going to pour tomorrow. Ben's going to be back in and it'll be a lot easier where there's not as much light on that side. Um, right in there. That's where the other two will go, but I got these sides squared up, but it'll be easier to set those two with Ben tomorrow. Do a diagonal and make sure that we're uh, square. So that's going to be it for tonight. I also got a bunch set up out in the shop to mix concrete uh, to go over that. We'll go over that tomorrow. Anyways, hey. We'll catch ya. Later. Here you are. It's a project shop, but anyways, tables, we're still working on those, but we cleared out enough space to mix up the concrete, adding a little extra granite to it, using a 5,000 pound test concrete. Um, that's about it. Small batch mixing it, running it over to the little tent. That's where the wheelbarrows are coming from. All right, we're gonna finish up pouring. Brian's here somewhere. Uh, finish up pouring the other two footings today. That's just the way things roll. Um, yeah, let's make some crepe. It's supposed to be this hard Cause you're tired of sitting here on your own Yeah, you're tired of the feeling that you need someone You found your peace no matter where you are You will find happiness somewhere You Something that you know Oh, you try to find someone new 
but you still get burned. Do you ever look up in the sky sometimes, wondering where you are, wishing you could be right here? Do you? go we are almost done with getting the footings in the ground I'm not going to show you the rest of putting the pavers in but I really want to take the time to say thank you for watching uh, this video about putting the, the footings into a paver patio I'm sure I missed something along the way explaining something or just through, uh, telling you what we were doing if you have any questions leave a comment down below and I would love to answer it for you and make sure that you subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell, ding, and you'll be notified the next time we do a video on something out here at the gardens or in the shop or just having fun around there. Um, there will be another video or two because these footings are for a peeled log um, cedar pergola that's going to be covered, so it's going to be pretty neat. The next one in this series will be in the shop or kind of getting to the shop with our big, huge cedar logs to start peeling them and putting them together. So, thanks so much for taking the time. Really do appreciate it. Bye-bye.